the Hendon RAF Museum completed a 26 million refurbishment in 2018. We're starting our visit today by admiring the World War II Spitfire sited at the main entrance. This is a very large museum situated on the old London airfield. This map illustrates the general layout and the museum is housed in six themed hangars. The new Hangar 1, entitled RAF First to the Future, contains the all-important cafe and gift shop. Hangar 2 is the story of flight, the First World War in the air and the formation of the RAF in 1918. The co-sited Hangars 3, 4 and 5 covered the war in the air from 1918 to 1980. Hangar 6, entitled The RAF in the Age of Uncertainty, covers the period from 1980 to the current day. The museum starts with the newly built Hangar 1. Over a freshly brewed cup of coffee in the cafe and dwarfed by the enormous Sunderland flying boat, we attempt to plan our visit with a supplied map. Suitably refreshed, we head out towards Hangar 2, passing an RAF rescue launch before reaching the entrance building, which is the original factory offices of the Graham White Company. Claude Graham White was one of the early pioneer aviators and started building aircraft in his factory at Hendon in 1910. The first gallery contains examples of aircraft and engines of this period. Apart from the aircraft, there are some fascinating AV presentations which give a real flavour of the period. Claude Graham White was a pioneer aviator, one of the first pilots in Britain, flying from land at Hendon, North London, where one of the first airfields in the country was created. Here were established flying schools and regular air pageants to which people flocked in their thousands to see aeroplanes demonstrate their potential. All around the walls are photographs of the factory floor at the time, illustrating how labour-intensive aircraft production was then. The old recruitment posters for the Royal Flying Corps illustrate the numerous skills required. We now pass through to a second gallery with a large number of exhibits, both on the ground and suspended in the air. The exhibits are made all the more interesting as there are many storyboards as well as artefacts such as the uniforms worn at the time. The story of Lieutenant Leif Robinson who shot down an airship in 1916 is nicely illustrated. Flight crews were accommodated in Nissen huts, such as this example. Inside, we find that it was rather spartan. However, they clearly made their own entertainment, including an RFC uniform for the pet mascot dog. The original Graham White Company drawing offices can be explored and the number of blueprints are on display which are typical of the aircraft that were being built in this factory. A nice touch are the original toilet facilities which have been refurbished and are fully functional. 
The drawing office windows provide a very good viewpoint over the hangar floor. As we make our way out, it's interesting to note how the number of RFC employees grew from pre-war to post-war. It's also sad to note the number of people who died in the air services during World War I. Outside again, we make our way to Hangar 6, which covers developments from 1980 until today. This is the Hawker Siddeley Harrier Jump Jet, developed in the 1960s and only retired from the RAF in 2006. The Blackbird Buccaneer is a British carrier-borne attack aircraft. It was designed in the 1950s for the Royal Navy. The Buccaneer was purchased by the MOD for the Royal Air Force, entering service in 1969. The Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine, delta-wing, multi-role fighter. The Panavir Tornado is a twin-engine, variable sweep wing, multi-role combat aircraft. It was jointly developed and manufactured by Italy, the UK and West Germany. It entered service with the RAF in 1991. This Land Rover, with its weapons mounted kit, was used to defend airfields in Afghanistan. The General Atomics MQ-1B Predator is an American drone it was used by the RAF in Afghanistan against the Taliban. Exiting Hangar 6, we sadly realise that our time is up for today. Anyone with an interest in flying will enjoy this museum. <laughs>